Hello Capricorn, so let's get right into your reading. So we have the Observer and we have the All That Glitters and I feel like it's keeping your eye out on things that may not be what they seem they are, that there may be something that you need to clo pay close attention to and see because we have the pile of gold there with the masks on the top there and that it's taking seeing something for what it is and looking at something for what it is and looking at a situation for what's really going on around you and I feel that it's not being fooled by something but I also feel that it has to do with being true to how you feel about something and seeing something for what it really is. We also have the moon, so definitely there is something that is not clear around you. There is something that is being hidden or that you're not facing something, that you are not really looking at something for what it is. It could have to do with something with your job. It could have to do with something with your work that you're not really seeing something that's going on and being more aware of it. I also feel that it could be that maybe you're not working to your fullest potential with that ace of pentacles there that you're not really you're not really pursuing things um i feel like maybe you're kind of ignoring something or that there is a career or a path that you want to go into that you're kind of holding yourself back from definitely with this i feel like you're holding back on something something to do with work and i feel that you have a lot of self self doubt about something and that you're kind of convincing yourself that something isn't going to work out and you're holding yourself back and you're not pursuing something that has to do with a job. I feel that you're kind of in this negative state and let's see, um, you just have some self-doubt. The advice is to, there's no place like home, and that is about being comfortable in your own skin. I feel that you are not giving yourself enough credit for something, and you're not really working towards your fullest potential with this all that glitters that we have here, that you're not really working to your fullest potential or you're not believing yourself to your fullest potential. And sometimes we have things that have happened in our past that kind of makes us think that, you know, to have that self-doubt. We also have Treasure Island. So in the advice column, we have being confident within yourself. And I feel like there's something that is heading your way and it's very important information and it's something that's really going to turn things around for you and make a difference. I feel like it's that confident self-confidence that's coming in for you. There's some things that you need to let go of first. There's some things that you're holding on to. It could be something that was in your past. It could be something that happened in your past. We have Four of Swords, I feel like you need to step away from a situation and you need to take a break from something. And I feel like it's reaching out and taking opportunities that are presented to you and are in front of you. I kind of feel that there's an opportunity for you, but you're having that self-doubt about whether or not you should take it or whether or not you should do it or not. But I feel like there's something from your past that you're holding on to that is preventing you from moving forward and you have this self-doubt within yourself. I feel that this opportunity for you is something that's really going to help you with your self-confidence and kind of smash those barriers that you've had up around yourself that you've been holding yourself back from looking into opportunities or doing something that you've been wanting to do. And is it a crutch that you were holding on to? Is it something that sometimes what happened, like, are you holding on to something? Sometimes if we have something that we feel we always have this backup that we don't try as hard and we don't push ourselves as much because we're like, we always have this backup or I'm always fall, using this excuse to fall back on. 
And when we don't have that safety net anymore, that we're kind of forced to push ourselves into directions and doing things that we weren't really thinking that we would be able to accomplish. And I kind of feel that this is what's going on here for you. We have yang, and that is that masculine energy of movement and making things happen. And we have, by the book, we have, I feel like it's learning as much as you can about a situation. Knowledge is power. I always feel knowledge is power. And it's about learning more about yourself and taking actions for yourself. I just feel like there's something that you want to pursue. There's something that you want to do, but you're holding yourself back. We also have the world, creating your own world the way that you see it through your eyes and not creating your world the way that you feel other people want you to be and to not hold yourself back and to explore things. When, we, when you explore things and when you try things and you push yourselves, you have this confidence and you, you release all of that self-doubt. We have the lovers, which also can represent Gemini. And I feel like it's finding that love and that excitement within yourself and really saying, realizing that you have your own back and that if you have something that's holding you back, asking yourself, why am I holding myself back and seeing right with the observer over here is seeing that you're holding yourself back from opportunities and that maybe you're hiding behind this mask and you're holding yourself back and seeing that, why am I holding myself back? Why am I not exploring opportunities? Why am I not pushing myself? Why do I feel this lack of confidence? What is it that I'm holding on to? Why do I feel that I don't wanna push myself? Taking that break and taking that time and saying, you know what, let me see what's going on here. Let me observe, let me see, why do I feel this way? And when you do that, you feel more that you've, you're taking control of a situation. You feel like you're driving the chariot, you're driving the bus, you're making the decisions in your life, that you're not letting, you're not making decisions or choices out of fear, that you are making choices and decisions out of strength and confidence. And that's a big thing. And that's why this opportunity has come up for you or this situation has come up for you, I feel with this ace of pentacles here, is for you to see what's really going on around you and that you're not hiding behind something anymore, that you're really seeing something for what it is. That sometimes do you feel that like if you're relying on someone else or something else or another opportunity to happen that you're denying yourself to figure it out on your own. Sometimes we lie to, we re, rely too much on other situations and we don't have that strength within ourselves. And it, it really is kind of a weakness for ourselves. Let's grab some more cards here for a final message. We have accelerated motion. So we have the eight of wands. So things start to speed up when you realize what it is that you're, what's holding you back. And when you see things for what is really going on and things start to speed up and they start to happen quicker and you're like okay well this is what I need to do this is what I need to focus on we have the six of swords which is moving on so that's what you were struggling with is that there was something that you were holding on to that was preventing you from moving forward and figuring that out and saying you know what why do I feel I have to hold myself back and what is it that I'm lacking confidence in and asking yourself, why do I feel this hesitancy? Why do I feel that I don't have the confidence to achieve a goal with this ace of pentacles that I want to achieve? Why do I feel that I am holding myself back? And once you realize that, you're able to move on from a situation. Then we have number 20, truth and that is finding out the truth of how the only one that's holding yourself back is you. <laughs> Sometimes that's a hard truth. Sometimes that's, um, that's something that we don't really want to face. And that's something that we don't really want to do deal with is really finding out the truth of a situation and saying, you know what? The only one that was holding myself back was me. 
Let's grab another advice for you. We have tranquility, harmonious, and action. So it says to take that time to yourself. That is right below this Four of Swords. So that is a strong message for someone. And it's also about sometimes it's about removing yourself from a lot of maybe people that you have around you or when you go to a place that you, if you go for a walk, right? Sometimes if you drive in the car or you go to a place where you feel that you have this comfort within yourself. For me, I like to go to the barn. I have a horse, I go to a barn and I always, it always helps me. The drive out there is about 30, 35 minutes. The drive out there and being out there really helps me to clear my mind, really helps me to get things on track and to have that clarity because I don't have any other outside things that are interfering with my time. So I feel that this is a strong message for you is to take that time to yourself and having that in action and, and having that quiet time really can give you some clarity about your next move and the decision that you want to make about this Ace of Pentacles here, this opportunity here. This also could represent just ha feeling more stable and more secure within yourself, um, that maybe you have some doubts within yourself if you're making the right decisions, if you're making the right choices. You know, do I need to change something? Do I need to do something different? And by having that quiet time that you're really able to find that clarity. Let's grab a final card for the reading. We have our angel answers. We have no need to worry. <laughs> All right. So there's no need to worry. When you put worry into a situation, you actually make it harder. And even though it's easier said than done, when you feel this peace and this calmness within yourself, that everything's going to be okay, that the universe is guiding me and showing me the direction and the choices that I need to make, that it's putting things in front of me or it's challenging me in certain situations for me to see something, that the universe is trying to help you. Even though there may be times where you feel that you're struggling and there's a challenge that's around you, that it's not something that's happening to you, it's something that is happening for you, for you to see something. There's something that you need to see, there's something that you need to realize, there's something that you need to be aware of, there's something that either you're hiding behind or you're not seeing the reality of a situation. So that's the biggest message here and that's why this situation has come in, right? That there's, there's definitely something for you to see because this is what we started with is you have to recognize something and sometimes we have to take that step back and we have to step away and just really see a situation for what's going on. When we're in the middle of a situation, it's hard for us to see what's going on. And it's hard for us to realize things. I also feel that if you have a lot of people around you that are saying the same message to you and they all have the same opinion about a situation, it's something to consider. It's something to think about. It's something to be aware of and to say, maybe I should pay attention to what they have to say instead of fighting against that. And maybe that's something that I really need to observe and I need to realize about what's going on. Because if everyone's kind of around you saying the same thing, I just feel like that's something. It doesn't mean you have to follow what it is that they're saying, but I feel like it's something that maybe you should be more aware of and to take note of. But again, no need to worry that things are going to work out. If you have that release and you say, you know what, I don't need to worry that, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Whatever's, you know, is going to follow through, it's going to fall in place. And that worrying is not going to help a situation. When we worry about things and we stress about things, it's not going to help the situation. And to release that and let that go. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.